Now that we have our network set up, we need to think a little bit differently about how we actually work with users. So right now, I'm at my dashboard in my admin area, and you can see that I have two sites and two users. One of the big advantages of working with multi-site is that you can allow different users access to different sites. You don't necessarily have to give somebody access to all of your sites. Say you have a front-facing marketing site and you only want people to be able to update that, but at the same time you have a blog and you want a whole group of other people to manage that. Through multi-site, we can actually do that quite efficiently. So right in my dashboard, you can see I currently have two sites with two users. If I go into my users area, click on all users, I have one with super admin access, which is mine. So that means I'm an admin throughout the entire work network on all the sites. And then I have a basic account set up here for just news. Now, if I go into add new, I can add a new user right here. So all I have to do that from, from the network admin dashboard and then in users, all I have to do is create a username and an email and it will mail them access along with a password that WordPress generates. Now, if I actually want to go in and go into different sites and focus specifically on that site and its users, all I need to do is go to my website, go to dashboard, and I'll go under the users tab and I'll click on all users. And you can see I can go edit right here and see some different things in the user area. Now, if I want to add a new user, I have a couple new options here. I can add an existing user to this site, which would give that person access throughout the site in whatever type of role I choose. So all I need for that is an email or username, select the role, and then if I want to skip the confirmation email since they're already a user, I can go ahead and do that if I want. Or I can add a brand new user. And this user would have access directly to my website, or at least the first site I created, which is forward slash multi-site, not the new site. And they could have whatever functionality I would like them to have here. So just remember that distinction. I can take an existing user that I've already created, say, in the network, add them to this site, or I can add a brand new user directly here. You'll see the same thing if I go back to network admin and go to sites, and then I go to multi-site news, and then go to users, all users. I'll have the same options here, so I can go add new, and then go ahead, I can directly add a user here if I'd like, and add their email, and it'll put them onto the site. So just keep that in mind, working with these different sites, the big advantage is that you can go ahead and add somebody just for a specific site, or you can add them from the whole network, or you can take somebody that's already on an existing site and then give them access to whatever other site you're working on.